this is Janelle with your Living Peace Tuesday tip and this week I'm here to talk to you guys about the pros and the cons about organizing with a binder. Now I've seen a lot of this on Pinterest and stuff that a lot of people use binders to be able to organize different things in their lives and sure it's actually a really great resource for a lot of things. It's first of all very tactile, very visual, you can touch this item, you can see this item right away. Kind of makes it a little bit easier to make some of these things a lot more real for you guys out there. As well as personalization, which you can't really do with virtual. You can personalize all your tabs, all your holders in there, keep all your things together. It just makes it a lot nicer. As well as keeping it in one place. As long as you keep it in one place, it actually makes it a lot easier for you to be able to find anything that you want right away. And as well as it's labeled properly, then it just makes your life a little bit easier. You can keep this item together with some of the other items that correspond with it. So let's say it was a finance binder, you can keep it with all of your bill pay stuff as well to make it easier for the, all that to be done right away. Now, a few cons about this is it just, it doesn't update automatically, unfortunately. So you do have to sit down and kind of write everything in. It doesn't just go in by itself, which for some people who have a very busy schedule can be a pro or con. Um, it's also hard to share. A binder is something that you keep for yourself. It's not exactly something that you're giving to a lot of other people, so it's kind of hard to be able to share things within your family or your household. Um, and this takes up space. It's a physical thing. Kind of having to put it on your shelf and taking up more space on your shelf isn't all that great for some people. I know all of us can use just a little bit more shelf space out there. So now, a few alternatives to using a binder. There's a lot of really great apps out there, but some really nice ones that I suggest are things like Cozy, which is a family organizer. Just makes it easier for you to organize your schedules, your activities, even your chores or your groceries. And again, unlike the binder, you can share it throughout your family so everybody can see what's going on. Um, some alternatives for finances is apps like Mint. Again, updates automatically so you don't have to be keeping your receipts all the time. It kind of just goes through all your accounts, sees what you've purchased. Um, as well as Pepper Plate's a really good one for your menu and meal planning. Um, and it's a large community of people so you can see recipes throughout there as well as organize it by days of the week and share it with your family so they know what's coming up and nobody has to ask you what's for dinner. So either way, whichever one you choose, binder or virtual, Either way, as long as it works for you, that's all that matters. But this has been Janelle with the Living Peace Tuesday Tip.